I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm super excited because we received an amazing package from Kosori. They sent me a six quart pressure cooker. So I've decided to show you guys how to make one of my very favorite recipes and this is going to be vegan chili. One of the reasons why I love vegan chili, especially this time of year, is because it's kind of fun to make because you get to chop up all the vegetables. You get to like mix in all the spices. You definitely feel like a top chef when you're making it. Every time you make it, it turns out different. And I've decided to try a couple different things today, but I'll let you know about that in a minute. And it's also one of those amazing meals that you can make and then you can freeze portions of it. This was personally one of my favorite things to make while I was going to university because it was easy, nutritious, delicious, and very very filling so let's get to it shall we but first we're going to open up our package okay so when this came in the mail I hadn't told my dad that I was expecting it so he opened it because he's like what? what what did she order this or is there something else in this box so dad opened it already for me but then put it back in so we're opening it together now so I'll show you the packaging Ugh. this is exciting I love cooking <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here. We have a very nice glass lid so I can see everything being made. And all right. There's the plastic here and I'm gonna pull it out right now. Ugh. Wow. This is pretty, pretty heavy duty. I'm excited. It looks like there's also some recipes in here. Let's uh, let's uh, plug this baby in. Okay, so I think I was a little ambitious when I said like, let's go plug it in because obviously we have to open it up more and clean the inside. So upon opening it up, there is some more in here. It looks like we have two different scoops. One's a little bit more of a ladle style. And we have some, what looks like a steamer in here pretty heavy duty and of course the the buckets that we need to wash before we decide to put any food in there okay so upon reading the instructions of how to set this up I'm gonna tell you guys how you can make or how fast you can make some of these things so some examples of things that you can make in your Kosori pressure cooker is beans and chili like we're making today soup and it says beans and chili can take as less as five minutes and the most of 30 minutes. So when I was in university, of course I mentioned this was a fast meal for me to make chili and of course very filling, but it required me to at least spend one evening chopping up all the vegetables and mixing it over the stove for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how much you want the flavors to sink in. So the fact that this takes on, on the more side only 30 minutes to make i mean that could save some students a lot of time so let's get into my ingredients here because i'm making it for my family today i'm not going to make it as spicy as i would like if you guys know me you know that i love my pepperoncino i love all my spices but so today i'm making chili like i've never made it before so like i said the fun thing about making soups and chili is that you can switch it up each time no soup is ever the same because you can feel like your master chef in your kitchen like i am now and the difference that I'm doing today is today I'm adding spinach because I've been doing some skiing since I've been here in, on Vancouver Island. I've been having some issues with my circulation. I have like poor circulation and I do have issues with iron so I'm adding some extra iron in. And I also have a mixture of beans here. So I have brown and beige beans which I believe were pinto beans. That was about two cans, two larger cans. I also have tomatoes. So these are diced tomatoes left in their juices. So this also came from a can, but this is something you can do yourself as well. If I were in Italy right now, you guys know I would be doing this all myself because the amount of produce and fresh produce they have there is absolutely amazing. So in time, in time. <laughs> I also have chopped up carrots here, which I peeled and chopped up myself, as well as red pepper. I have chopped up red onions, which I didn't know we had a like a hand chopper until I was already crying. Oh and then my dad came in and then he <laughs> chopped these up for me super fine, which was nice. 
and I have some corn because I like to add corn to the chili because I find that it, it adds a little bit of sweetness to it naturally that is natural sweetness that's what we want to go for and garlic one of my very favorite flavors ever <laughs> to top it off later I have cilantro here or coriander as some people like to call it and I do have an array of spices so this is where it gets kind of fun you can taste test your own chili and see what you like to add so I just have a few of the most popular spices to add to chili to show you guys today. So this is a bay leaves, paprika, medium curry powder, cumin, and a chipotle chili pepper spice. So yeah, I mean, let's get to the fun stuff. I washed the pot and the lid so it's looking super shiny and sparkly. So I think what we gotta do is we just add all of our ingredients in. <laughs> Okay, so when starting out with chili and most soups, what you're going to need to do is saute a couple things first. So this means adding a little bit of oil and letting things like garlic and onions brown and soften up a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is placing those ingredients that need to be sauteed first in here, then placing them into the pressure cooker for a small amount of time to saute themselves before we add all the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> saute mix is ready to be put into the kosori cooker. Let's get at it. Okay, for now, we are going to, going to saute. I don't know, is that the right way though? Okay guys, so it has sauteed and like you saw, I just asked my dad for some help because he was here and that's what dads do. So, now I'm going to add all of the ingredients in and then we get to use the special chili button to make our chili. Okay, so the fun part here is that we get to add our spices, which makes you feel like a total master chef because you can make it as spicy as you want, as mild as you want. I'm going to add one bay leaf and I don't really use measurements too much to be honest with you guys. So I'm just going to mix everything up and just hope for the best. So as you can see, this mixture is very much veg and I'm going to need to add some liquid in here. So you can use vegetable broth or whatnot, but I'm just going to be using water. So like I said, you guys, I don't really measure things and that includes water. So this is how much water I've left in. It's still underneath the maximum line. As you can see, there's enough water for things like the carrots to soften. So I think that's good. I think we'll close it up and click the chili button and see what happens. Okay, so while the chili cooks behind me, it said it was going to take 11 minutes to cook, so that's super exciting. It's making a little bit of noises right now. I think it's actually almost done because I just finished doing the dishes, so perhaps we're getting close to time's up here. But I want to tell you guys, I just manifested some money yesterday and I think the story is pretty cool, so I'll tell you it. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm currently in the process of going back to Italy, so it's not the cheapest process, let's say that. There's a lot of expenses that come along with applying for the visa. And, sorry, it's getting, it's getting a little bit loud. Did you make that noise or did they make the noise? What do you mean? What noise? That steaming noise, was that you? No, 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 the you machine did. To Don't touch it. Yeah, it said leave it for 15 minutes. Okay, so I'll leave it. Just leave it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> and okay, let's get back into the story here. I am in the process of applying for this visa, which I have to go to Toronto to do, which I'm heading to Toronto in a couple of days. I had a lot of expenses that come with applying for the visa. This is enrolling and paying tuition for my education over there. This is putting money towards accommodation over there. This is paying for the visa itself. This is paying for health insurance for the length of time I'm going to be there and all of my flights, that includes there and return. So 
it's quite a bit of money to put forward at once for a visa that I don't know for sure if I'm gonna get, but we're crossing our fingers, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. But of course, there's always those little doubts that kind of creep into your mind that I'm working on. You guys remember Gabby, my friend in San Diego, who I met traveling this summer, this past summer in Ibiza. So Gabby had messaged me and she said, so I feel like you're manifesting something. I'm in Colombia. I have something to send you. Oh, that's like super exciting that she said that she thought about me and felt like I was manifesting something into my life. So yesterday a package arrived from Gabby and it was a bag. As you guys know, I love the, the Greek eyes. I have the tattoo here. So Gabby sent me this beautiful bag, which I, <laughs> It's funny because I'm packing up all of my things to go to Toronto and I realized I need another little bag And then before I knew it this beautiful bag arrived from Gabby. So thank you Gabby and also a beautiful necklace So this is a necklace with citrine on it And if you guys don't know citrine helps you to attract money and wealth and abundance into your life The fun thing about this necklace is when it arrived it also arrived with another letter for me which was a check from Kindle, which I was under the impression that I wasn't going to be receiving any more paper checks from Kindle as they've moved everything towards direct deposit. The check in the mail for $111 USD, which is super unexpected and also lucky numbers 111 to be placed all together like that. So yeah, I guess this little necklace was attracting some funds along the way. So later on this evening, I'm going to go deposit it. There's just one Oh, I think maybe she's done. And she's got an 11 right there. It's pretty lucky. <laughs> so anyway, so that's just one of my little stories to share with you guys. And I hope it inspires you because you never know when you're in the process of manifesting money where this money could come from because I was under the impression that I was no longer going to receive any checks from Kindle. So that's pretty cool. And it arrived when I feel like I needed a little boost of encouragement. So we're going to turn it off let the steam out and then see how our chili is doing. I'm going to unplug it just to be safe. Okay, now we can open it. All right, so this is my chili and in all honesty, I probably added a little bit too much water like I showed you guys, I just eyeballed it, but I believe it made a pretty good soup anyway, so let's try it. <laughs> Buonasera amici, just in the car with my dad. We just dropped my best tomorrow off at her home and we gave her some soup to go because she really loved it and I know she was the only one to vouch. Sure, it's good, really good. It's really good? Yes, it's really good. Thanks, best more. <laughs> my dad's sitting here beside me. Everyone loved the soup, right dad? Don't worry, we'll film it, you can answer. Super good. It was so good. Everyone had a second helping, except for Drake, my little brother, but he doesn't really like vegetables but he did eat the majority of the soup and he said it was pretty all right. Sorry for the lack of light here. We're coming up to a street light, here we go. So like I said, we are on my way to the bank now to deposit my manifested check. Look, this is what I like to see. Very green here. You just put your checks in and just like that, we're done. I hope you guys all have an amazing evening and get out there, make healthy food and manifest some money.